this episode, we're going to have a look at Lexi, which is a replacement for Trix in Action Text. And I'm really excited about it because it supports Markdown. And honestly, I haven't looked into this too much yet, but I'm really excited about it because Action Text has been built along with Trix, and that's been our default option for several years. But with the addition of Lexi, which is built on top of Lexical, a lot of the pain points that we have with Trix for expanding and working within the editor was kind of painful. And so it's really awesome to see what is hopefully an improvement upon Trix and something that supports Markdown. And so in this episode, we're going to explore Lexi on an existing application that was using action text with Trix. And so in this example, we have a post that has a title and then content. This was created with the standard action text install. And then when I generated the scaffold for the post, the content was generated with rich text. And so when we look at the model, we see that the post has rich text for content, and that's basically all that's needed. And now we're needing to take this from Trix and now to use Lexi. And did you know that you can go to railstore.com to get your own Ruby on Rails t-shirt or your Drift and Ruby t-shirt? To watch this full episode and more videos, visit driftandruby.com and subscribe to the pro membership. 